You know, the way I try to describe the cerebellum to my students is that it serves sort of like the air traffic control system functions in air travel. It's a system that's very complicated and it's really dependent on great information. So it's taking in the information about everything that's happening everywhere, not only through your sensory systems, but it's listening into all the little centers elsewhere in your brain that are computing what you're going to be doing next and so forth. And it really has an important role in coordinating and shaping movements. But it's not that you would be paralyzed if your cere cerebellum was gone because you still have motor neurons, you still have ways to talk to your muscles, um, you still have reflex centers, but you wouldn't be coordinating things so well anymore. The timing between input and output might be off. Or if you were trying to practice a new athletic move, like an overhead serve in tennis, you'd be just terrible